Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm your host, Corey Nockreiner. Today, I want to talk about Obama's latest proposals to improve the U.S.'s cybersecurity. In the next week, Obama is going to give a State of the Union address where he's expected to talk about cybersecurity. And just this week, he addressed Congress talking about some proposed changes to our cybersecurity laws. In a nutshell, he wants to create a federal mandatory data breach disclosure law. He wants to uh, increase private and government uh, communication as far as security intelligence, and he wants to make harsher penalties for known bad guy hackers. Now on the surface, all of this sounds great. It's great that our government realizes how dangerous cyber attacks have become. And I do support some of these changes. For instance, I do think we need a federal mandatory data breach disclosure law. This is something that requires companies to inform you if an attacker steals your information from them. We already have these laws in many, many states, but it would be nice to have one over our federal law. On the other hand, while some of these other changes might sound good in general, the devil's in the details. Uh, the government has tried to pass other laws to improve intelligence sharing, but in reality they were kind of surveillance laws, allowing the government to, to have access to more data than many civil libertarians think they should have access. While I think it's very important that we help our government be able to find and prosecute real criminals, we don't want to step on any of our freedoms or civil liberties while we're doing it. In any case, I think this is ultimately a good thing. We need our government to tackle cybersecurity. But if you're in the information security industry, have your voice heard. We need to help our government design laws that can help us prosecute real bad guys, but make sure not to stomp on the uh, civil liberties of normal consumers, nor tie the hands of security researchers. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.